Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, October 11th, 2018, and I hope everyone's having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have something for you today, but first, as always, I like to start off with the Our Father, so please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, this one is called Faith Persevering in Trials. Um, and I'm sure we all know how difficult it is um, to stay right with God when we're suffering. Uh, the reading is from Psalm 40, verses 1 through 8. And it says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud or such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, my God, are your wonderful works, which you have done, and your thoughts towards us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, my ears you have opened, burnt offerings and sin offered you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O God, O my God, and your law is within my heart. And the devotional is, Did you wake up today and find yourself in a pit? Just as Joseph did many centuries ago in Genesis 37. Irma Bombeck wrote a book entitled, If Life is a Bowl of Cherries, Then What Am I Doing in the Pits? We do not know what pit David was in in verse 2, but perhaps it was sickness or maybe slander or sin. But we do know that he cried out to the Lord and the Lord replaced his sighing with singing in verse 3. He will do that for you too. Why would a child of God sing even when the circumstances of life are the pits? David sang because the Lord had listened to his cry, saying a quick prayer about something and then moving on is not the same as crying out to the Lord. Yeah, there has to be, it has to come from the heart, you know. God answers when you speak from the heart. Every loving father is moved by the cry of his child, and our Heavenly Father pays special attention and inclines his ear when one of his children cry out in desperation to him. That kind of praying requires humility and patience because of his patience and passion God listened to his cry and lifted him out of the miry clay. Have you ever tried to climb up a hill after a long rain? Your feet probably kept slipping out from under you and with every two steps forward you slipped back one. Good news, the same God who hears you will also help you get on solid ground. Today, may take your eyes off of your difficult situation and focus on Jesus. Determined to do his work, declare to others his word 
and delight to do his will. If you do, the Lord will place music in your heart and a song in your mouth, just as God rescued Joseph from his pit. He will bring you out of yours. And, um, yeah, it's very, very difficult. You know, sometimes it's easier said than it is done when um, something critical happens to you or someone in your family. Um, the, the pain and the suffering um, is, is an invitation to Satan to get you to doubt that your father loves you and to, to doubt uh, that he will even hear you. So um, you have to be aware that that crisis is a very vulnerable time, spiritual time, and it's a time of testing. Um, and um, it's a testing of your faith, you know, that God loves you even though we suffer here. And um, sometimes God will permit suffering and crisis to hit your life, to wake you up, you know, to shake you like he's going to shake the earth because you might be doing something that's not in his will. So, you know, he'll jostle you. And um, if you don't listen, the next time it may be, it, it may not be, um, it may be more severe. So, uh, you know, this world has a, um, a view of our Lord Jesus Christ as being all love all the time, no matter what you do. And uh, that's just not true, okay? Because um, our Heavenly Lord and Savior is uh, King of King and Lord of Lords. And He is the Son of the Father who is the highest judge in the universe. And He is Him in the flesh. So everything that the Father is, Jesus is. And if you want to know who the Father is, just have to read the Old Testament. Okay. Like I said, the Lord will give you enough rope and uh, sometimes too much rope that you'll hang yourself. And uh, you have to understand that, that um, well, many times he does those things because he loves you and um, he wants you to turn from what you're doing and come back to him. And uh, look at things higher, you know, instead of the carnal emotions that go on in the earth. He wants you to go above that. Seek him. And I hope you enjoyed this devotional today. I always love bringing them to you. I want to bless everyone who watches them. And I want to remind you that I love you. And Jesus loves you. Never forget how much he loves you. Never forget it. He's coming very, very soon. Keep looking up.